Mystery Hour, and here is your host, Mystery Jeff Hoka! Good. Thank you guys so much for being here in the historic Galois building. Building? Theater. theater. Let's call it a theater. <laughs> a theater. Thank you for being at home in your building. We have a great show for you guys tonight. We have Lucas Graviel from Springfield High School Musical, the uh, movie Milk, also switched at birth on ABC Family. Yeah, there we go, there we go. Yeah, so clapping. And. We also have the music of a great band called Delta Soul Revival. Uh-huh. And from a generous donation from Andrew Baird and Stephanie Stenger Montgomery, our nonprofit title sponsor of the night is Moxie Cinema. Yes. They're so cool. Fun fact. Fun fact. I proposed at the Moxie. Way back when, yeah. Here, check this out. This is cool. What up? Yeah, no. This rap, it's like spreading and like getting it bigger and like I don't know what to do about it. Like I'm, I'm like I'm getting worried about this rash. What up, girl? No, I'm not doing nothing. Listen, I want to tell you about this rash. It's like spreading. I don't know what I'm gonna do about it. It's like getting bigger. What up, girl? No, I'm not doing nothing. Listen, I wanted to talk to you about this rash. It's like a Hold on, I'm getting out of the call. Hello? Shut up. <laughs> Moxie. Yeah. We don't mess around with that. Rash talk. Hey, one of my favorite things about Springfield, Maine, I think one of our calling cards is just the abundance of strip malls. And so... <laughs> we decided it was time to uh, spotlight one of them. So it's our strip mall spotlight of the week. Here we are. And uh, here it is. Wait, there's the beauty. <laughs> I don't even know if it went. It went? OK. <laughs> the joke is that it was just, there it is. All right, let's do this. Things I've noticed. <laughs> These things I've noticed. These things I've noticed, yeah. Yeah. These things I've noticed. These things I've noticed, yeah. Yeah. These things I've noticed. These th We're good. We don't need any more of that. These are things I've noticed. <laughs> things I've noticed. <laughs> uh, these are things I've noticed, things I've observed. Uh, here we go. I've noticed that I wish they made a trail mix bag that was only M&M's. <laughs> I've noticed that people person and cat person are mutually exclusive. I've noticed that people I have seen skateboarding seem to land about 5% of their tricks. <laughs> Never seen it happen. I've noticed that Home Alone 2 should have just been a call to DFS. <laughs> a joke from 1994. I've noticed that I've never known anyone who could do the war... I've noticed that I've never met anyone who could do the worm that wasn't extremely proud of it. 
you know every one of your friends that can do it, because they do it all the time. And finally, I've noticed that if I act surprised when you tell me that you cut your own hair, I'm lying. <laughs> things I've noticed. <laughs> These things I've noticed. Yeah. Oh my gosh, things I've noticed, that was funny, just a second ago. Let's move on. Over here, let's walk over here where we see chairs and we see people. Ah, uh, there seems to be one more person, there seems to be one more person than there are chairs. What does that mean? Uh-oh, musical chairs. <laughs> so we're going to play uh, a few rounds of this and then uh, we're going to change it up a little bit with each round. So this first round is just standard musical chairs. You guys cool with this? Yeah. And, uh, and what are your names? Jen. We have Jen. Bryce. Bryce. Allie. Allie. Katie. Catherine. <laughs> <laughs> so we are going to just play musical chairs. Ready? Music. Sure, that way. There's no music. When you think it's time to sit down, you better sit down. All right, let's play again. This time, we're going to remove one chair, and you guys get blindfolds. The blindfolds are being applied by our beautiful stagehands, Jackie and Jeffrey who have a lot of experience touching the back of people's heads when they don't want them to. All right, very good. This is, here we go. Here we go, there we go, spin in the right direction. Don't spin them. <laughs> oh, we're supposed to spin them. It's almost as if we didn't practice this one. Because we said, it's musical chairs. All right, the chairs are behind you. Music? No, here we go. I uh, no. Oh, you're out. Sorry. Okay. This is a disaster. All right, we're gonna remove one of the chairs. Get out of here. We're a local talk show. All right, stand up. This time, I'm going to be moving the chair around, and there's still no music. This is just called being a bully. All right, and the music starts now. Let's just end it. There you go, you can, you can head back that way. Congratulations, Catherine. You get an unnamed canned food item. We don't know what's inside it, nor do we know what we're doing. Stick around for the music of Delta Soul Revival. We'll be back. How about that game of chairs? <laughs> sure, you guys are still talking about it at home. Hey, at home, if you have a DVR, rewind it and just play your own music. We can't do everything for you. 
Hey, we have a great guest tonight, but even better than that, we have a great guest sponsor. hoo Our guest sponsor is the Skinny Improv. We make junk up. <laughs> we make junk up. Fart noise. Um, our guest tonight, you've seen him in High School Musical. You've seen him in the movie Milk. You've seen him on the TV show Switched at Birth. You've also seen him around Springfield because he's from here for crying out loud. So uh, we have a pre-record interview where we went to Hudson Hawk, the cool barber shop, and Lucas Graviel and I sat down and talked. Here's Lucas Graviel. Um, I really hope that they um, choose a nice neutral color um, <laughs> for my nails because I don't want anything too crazy. Right, you want manly nail polish. <laughs> <laughs> so you are in town for a reunion? Yeah, I mean, I'm in town to, to oh, as I'm always, to visit family and to, yeah. you know. But there's also a reunion, so you're going to go. Yeah, I'm going to go to my high school reunion. I'm a little nervous about it. In what Actually, way? a lot nervous about that it. That you haven't but... done anything with the 10 years? <laughs> Yeah, I'm just embarrassed. No. <laughs> um, I don't know. I just didn't really like high school all that much. And, really? and I, I just, I don't know. I, I, I've changed a lot. I'm, I'm, I was a little bit meaner when I was in high school. Really? Pro probably because, you know, I just had to grow thick skin because people were mean to me. I was bullied because I was weird. Oh, yeah. But, yeah, so, like, I don't know. It's just a weird thing. Did you right. go to your 10-year reunion? I did. And uh, here's what I would say. Well, first, thanks for assuming that I'm older than you. <laughs> but you're right. <laughs> uh, yes, I did. And uh, the, my two observations were that it, well, it was before like, Facebook was really taking off, mm. so I am older. But, um, but uh, so I tried to recognize people, and I could only recognize them by like, uh, imagining them with more hair and like thinner. Mm. Because everyone just kind of gets a little thicker and loses hair right. in 10 years. So that'd be my way of identifying people. Yeah. But I don't know if you're on the Facebook, but now it's like a reunion all the time. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I used to be on Facebook and I, I kind of stopped because I just never really used it. Yeah. And I'm on, I'm, I have like a, a, a page, but not a profile. Oh, right, so right. I can't really like look at anybody else's stuff. I can <laughs> yeah. just put out. I can't yeah. take in. Right. So you're a giver. I'm a giver. You know, <laughs> it's it's you know by nature. But yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, I don't know. It's kind of silly anyway. So it is all silly. It's all distraction. Yeah. Movies and stuff. You're like, oh my gosh, a reunion. It's the biggest deal in the world. Yeah. But like when you show up, you're like, oh, okay. That's what I'm hoping. Like, I've, yeah. I've ran it through a hundred times in my mind, and then I think, well, don't do that. Just show up, and you're going to have a great time. It's going to be cool. Yeah. But then, you know, my mind just starts reeling, and I'm like, uh, I don't know how it's going to be. <laughs> Who's going to show up? Who do I study in the yearbook? Right. <laughs> you just imagine that you're walking in, and it's a cafeteria, and everyone has a place to sit, but yeah, you... Yeah, well, that's what my first day of was Paper it? Poo was. It was like... Sophomore I, year, you don't know anyone. Sophomore year, didn't know anybody, walked in, had the tray in hand, scanned the whole room. You did. Uh, and I sat by myself. And luckily, uh, some people sat by me, and, and that was nice. But, you know, it was... It was pretty tragic. Kickapoo, at, at least my class and the years <clears> that I went there, it's like the most cliche movie version mm -hmm. of what a high school is. Like, yes. we were the best at football, the best at basketball, like, you had the jocks and the nerds yeah. and the goth kids and, like, everybody was like, I don't know, it's, I look back on it and I'm like, this is, how, that's real? Like, that's, I, I like it that you say that because it affirms my thoughts, because I said my wife went to school there, and like we'd talk about high school, and I'd be like, your high school sounds just like a movie. <laughs> <laughs> like we'd it see was. some movie with a party or something, and she'd be like, yeah, I went to parties like that. I was like, we didn't have parties like that. <laughs> my, uh, my senior year, I was the assemblies commissioner for student council, so mm -hmm. I organized all the assemblies. Our, our final assembly was like reading off all the accolades of all of the 
clubs and groups and mm -hmm. teams and everything. And it just got boring after a while saying, oh, and guess what? Our science club came in first in the state, <laughs> along with the other 32 clubs that, right. you know, entered anything into anything. We won it all. So We're it was the just, best at everything. And we knew it. Yeah. <laughs> there was a giant chip on everyone's shoulder. I will say, though, for like being like kind of this cool, successful high school, they couldn't have happened upon worse colors. Yellow and brown? Piss and <laughs> It's terrible. Yeah. So High School Musical was your first big thing. Did you have any sense of any big while it's happening, while you're shooting? Oh, definitely not. I mean, you know, honestly, that's, that question's been asked to me yeah. so many times, and I always say no. There was a sense of this is special while yeah. we were shooting it. But at the time, I had already shot another Disney Channel movie mm -hmm. and then went back to work at Blockbuster afterwards. Yeah. And the, sh the movie went on the shelves at Blockbuster and kids would come in and be like, you look like that kid. And I'm like, it no is me. Way. And they're like, no, I can't be because these movie here, stars here. make millions of dollars. And I'm like, well, let that be a lesson to you, kid. <laughs> Not every movie star right. is a millionaire. <laughs> so. so you were working in movies and working in movies. Indeed. Yeah. Yeah. It was good. This is a crappy blade. God. <laughs> hey, what would you think about moving from L.A. to Springfield to be my full-time sidekick? I think that would be sad. <laughs> it would be sad. <laughs> what if we just traded lives? That, like, trading what? Like, trading wives? But like trading that, lives? But lives. But you would get a wife and a child. What would I get? A career. Money. <sighs> um, yeah. Clothes that are too small for me. Yeah. That's about it. I live, a, I live in a house, so you get that. I'm, I'm like across the street from George Clooney. We like fight all the time. And he has chickens and they just, you know. Because he's so into all the Yeah, that he's like, I'm a stuff. hippie. Yeah. And me, right. me, me. Oh, Obama's coming over. Right. And then I got to deal with the traffic of Obama coming right by my house. And I'm just like, uh. And you're just like, I just want to shoot my guns at things. Hell yeah. I've got, you know, my um, equestrian area <laughs> set up. And my, I like to shoot, shoot while, horses. No, oh. <laughs> while on horseback. Uh-huh. Like, you Shirtless, know. Lucas Graviel, shirtless. Yes. Well, that's where the picture's coming from. Mm -hmm. I'm, you know, practicing my rifle skills on the back of my steed. <laughs> That's probably good, right? We should end with that. Lucas Grayville with a gun shirtless on top of his steed, angering George Clooney. Well, or he's angering me. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Tonight's musical guest is brought to you by the Mud House. Welcome, everybody. Hey, we have a great musical guest tonight, and you guys are going to love them. Their name is Delta Soul Revival. Guys.
Since two nine. some energy. That's our show, everybody. We've had a great time. I think they're doing things behind me. <laughs> Just so you guys know, 10% of our box office proceeds tonight go to the nonprofit Moxie Cinema. Stick around for another show after this. There's probably one, right? I assume so. Thanks for watching, guys. Yeah.